Welcome to our Blue Christmas service, to our chance to gather together in this special time of worship and prayer. I'm glad that you are here tonight. Please join with me as you are able in the call to worship. Tonight we gather here in this place of refuge. Tonight we gather with neighbors and strangers a family made one by our brokenness. Tonight, we gather just as we are. Our first scripture reading is from Matthew 11, 28 and 29. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Let us bow our heads for an opening prayer. Holy God of Advent, you became weak so we could find strength in moments of heartbreak. You left the safety of heaven to wander the wilderness of the world, holding our hands when we feel so hopeless. 
You set aside your glory to hold our pain so we might be healed. Even when there seems to be no hope, you became one of us so we could never be alone in any moment, in any circumstance. So come now, child of Bethlehem, to strengthen us in these days. May we feel your presence in a way we have never known, not just as one born in a stable long ago and far away, but as one born in our hearts, in our hopes, in our spirits, in our weakness. You have promised to go before us into our brokenness, into hospital rooms, into empty houses, into graveyards, into our future held by our God. And you are here even now waiting for each of us to serve us, to hold us, to comfort us, to live in us now and forever. Amen.
The first candle is the candle of hope. We light it tonight and we stand with those who feel lost in despair, for whom hope seems lost. We light it for those who are struggling with unemployment or underemployment, for those who feel trapped, and for those who cannot see a way out of a bad situation. We light it for those facing serious or terminal illness and for those who are wrestling with addictions. We light this candle out of our own longing for hope, for a ray of light in the dark places. Come, O oh Christ, and bring your hope. candle is the candle of peace. We light it tonight and we stand with those whose lives are marked by anxiety, chaos, or violence. We light it for those who don't feel safe even in their own homes and for those whose countries are torn by war. We light it for those soldiers who serve in far off places and for the families they've left behind. And we pray for the day when peace shall reign and weapons of war can at last be laid down. We light this candle for those who cannot find peace within their own hearts and minds, who struggle with anxiety and insecurity and mental illness. We light this candle out of our own longing for peace, for calm and wholeness within ourselves and throughout the whole world. Come, O oh Christ, and bring your peace. The third candle is the candle of joy. We light it tonight and we stand with those who are struggling through a season of grief. We light it for those who have lost a loved one, who are missing someone deeply in this holiday season, or whose loved ones are far away. In this season, when we celebrate the birth of Jesus and the joy of children, we pray for those who have longed for a child and have not been able to have one. And in these days, when the songs of jingle bells and holly jolly Christmas tree supposed to make us merry, we light this candle for those who instead find themselves deep in seasonal depression and feel sadness in these long winter nights. We light this candle out of our own longing for joy, for the joy of God, which goes deeper than our circumstances and the joy of resurrection that is stronger than the grave. Come, O oh Christ, and bring true joy. The fourth candle is the candle of love. We light it tonight and we stand with those who feel unloved. 
We light it for those who are lonely, who do not have a healthy or loving family to be with for the holidays, or who struggle to find true friendship. We light it for those who long for love and have not found it. We light it for those who have not experienced God's love, but have felt rejected or unwelcomed by people claiming to speak for Christ. We light it for those who have been hurt, mistreated, or abused by people who were supposed to love them. We light it for those who have experienced the loss of love in divorce or broken relationships and who have been deeply wounded by that loss. We light this candle out of our own longing for love, for we were made to love and be loved by God and by each other. Come, O Christ, and bring your love. Our second scripture reading is from the prophet Isaiah. He says, comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. 
Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name because he is great in strength, mighty in power. Not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We uh, invite you now to come forward as you feel so moved and you can take one of the tapers out of the holders and light a prayer candle here in the front. You can light a candle for someone you love who has died. You can light a candle for a heavy burden that is in your heart. You can light a candle for whatever you want, and you don't have to just light one. You can light however many candles as you want to light. So we'll take some time now for that.
Let us pray. All around us are the sights and sounds of Christmas, gentle God. The laughter of parties, the songs of carolers, the excited shouts of children and music in every store. But deep within us, we carry our pain. Our grief walks with us every step we take. Loneliness is a shawl we drape over our shoulders on empty nights. So in this time, when every night stretches into eternity, we come to you, bringing our gifts, not gold, frankincense, and myrrh, but the grief that is the empty space in the closet filled with memories, the loss that is a sore which never heals, the bitterness that tastes like old coffee. In a season when so many people don't have enough hours in a day to get their lists checked off, their cards mailed, their presents wrapped, we have all the time in the world to remember the loss that has stolen the joy of the season, to grieve over a job, a dream, a loved one we have lost, to sit in the shadows of our homes, too weary to turn on the lights, to wander the streets lit by decorations on all the houses, but not by the light of the world. Our fear of the future our remembrance of the past, our pain, which is difficult to bear and even harder to release, our emptiness, which cannot be filled with platitudes, our hands, which cannot hold the ones we wish to embrace, all make this a season of long nights. So be with us in our loneliness, in our longing, in our loss, and in our lives. O God of all seasons and senses, grant us the sense of your time to submit gracefully and rejoice quietly in the turn of the seasons, in the season of short days and long nights, of gray and white and cold. Teach us the lessons of endings, children growing, friends leaving, loved ones dying. Grieving over, grudges over, blaming over, excuses over. Oh God, grant us a sense of your timing. In this season of short days and long nights, of gray and white and cold, teach us the lessons of beginnings that such waitings and endings may be the starting place, a planting of seeds which bring to birth what is ready to be born, something right and just and different, a new song, a deeper relationship, a fuller love in the fullness of your time. Oh God, Grant us the sense of your timing. In your name we pray. Amen.
Now go forth into this night in peace and be blessed by the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit now and forevermore. Amen.